Meanwhile, to the big CNN News 18 exclusive, as speculation continues over the career of the iconic former Indian captain MS Dhoni, here's a big hint which has been dropped by none less than the head coach himself. In an exclusive interview to CNN News 18's Anand Narasimhan, Ravi Shastri claims that Dhoni's T20 future is still alive, provided he does well in IPL 2020. Let's listen in to this exclusive one. Now let me come to Dhoni. Hmm. What's Dhoni going to do now? Because he said January tak mat poochna. Hmm. July ke baad he is not played. Hmm. Has he had a conversation with you? Uh, what, what's going to happen? We've, we've had a conversation, but that's between me and MS. That's the dressing room, right? Hmm. You know, what I feel is, which people must respect is, he spread non-stop across all formats for a period of time. He's finished test match cricket. In all probability, he'll finish one-day cricket. And at his age, I think probably the only format he would want to play is T20 cricket. T20. Which means he will have to start playing again, hmm. get into the groove because he's definitely going to play the IPL. Yeah. And see how his body reacts. Now, one thing about Dhoni, I'll tell you. He will never, ever impose himself on the team. Hmm or even himself, if he feels when he comes back that something's not right, mm. just like he quit test cricket or, you know, it was like a bolt out of the blue, just came and yeah. said, I've had enough, 94 test matches, Riddhim Ansa is ready, here, take the gloves. Yeah. Okay? He might do just that. But if he has a cracking IPL season, mm. then... That's extremely well settled. Okay, let's go across to Anand. Anand, this, guy, this, this is a huge hint which has been dropped. What's your take? What do you think? Well, uh, one of the aspects is that Ravi Shastri said that he's had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Mm -hmm. The other aspect is that Dhoni, Dhoni is welcome into the side, especially the T20 format. So in all probability, he is going to say goodbye to the, to the one-day format along with the test which is already stopped playing. Now, uh, it all depends upon how Dhoni's IPL season is. He's going to lead the Chennai Super Kings, and if he feels up to it, what, what it looks like is that there has been a talk and an arrangement saying that Dhoni would want to prove his ability, and Dhoni would also want to be sure that he has the hunger and the drive, and he does not want to block the passage or the entry of anybody else. So it's going to be on parity and on form, if they are the same, that's what uh, Ravi Shastri could say, that he would love to have Dhoni in the side if form, fitness go across, because nobody can match Dhoni's experience hmm. and his wisdom behind the thumbs. You know, Anand, there has been of late a lot of criticism on Dhoni's form. Now, when hmm. Ravi Shastri, as a head coach, makes this comment, do you think it puts additional pressure then on Dhoni yes. that you have to perform this time? Well, the thing is, uh, Pallavi, that... Uh, MS has not performed, has not played ever since the semi-final loss at the World Cup in July. Mm. So, thereafter, he has stayed away from cricket. Now, he has to get back down the gloves again. And he had also said, don't ask me about cricket till January 2020. Mm. Now, we've asked the question to the coach. And the coach says that he is going to play the IPL. And the IPL is where he is going to test himself. So, clearly, Dhoni will be back uh, donning the gloves, back playing cricket, maybe domestic cricket. Uh, in the run-up to the, or, or some tournaments in the run-up to the IPL. And then we'll have to see how fit he is, how refreshed he is in the IPL. And if he's in the frame of mind to carry on. Because that is something Ravi Shastri as a player says that only a player knows whether it is the time to still play on, if the fire is still there within the belly, or uh, do they really want to hang their boots and, and, and move away. And Dhoni had also said the same thing, that it will all be... It will all be decided in 2020. But you know, Ravi Shastri is right in a way. I mean, this is all about performance. And if you're not performing on the field, then you know, the, it, the logical conclusion is that how can we then include you into a team? But I'm just going to go back to the perspective of Dhoni himself. I mean, you observe cricket as well. Uh, when a player is going to be in the eye of the storm, he's going to be, uh, you know, having catching eyeballs on the fact that how well I perform, does it unnerve the player? Because, you know, I mean, if he really wants to carry on, do you think the fact that now that Ravi Shastri has said this, He's going to be perhaps doubly nervous. He's going to put that pressure on him. Well, the pressure is, uh, uh, Pallavi, you're in front of camera. At a point in time, at least at least a few million people are watching us at all points in time. So we have the pressure of performance on us. Imagine and amplify that by about five or ten times on cricketers. 
so and and that's exactly what what they have to go through so so we can identify with the pressures they have but they deal with it and that is something which even ravi shastri said gorav kalra with me our uh, post editor network ad uh, uh, gorav shares there saying that dhoni is going to decide after the ipl and if and if he performs in the ipl he will travel to australia he is in contention Yes, and I think that's a that's a sensible way to look at it. I mean, uh, quite clearly, if a player wants to be part of the Indian team, then he's uh, got to be looking at his own individual performances. And since that World Cup, if uh, MS Dhoni hasn't played any cricket at all, it doesn't. It isn't possible for the selectors to throw him into the deep end right away. Mm. Also, in that World Cup in Australia, uh, there is still a fair bit of time, and India has the opportunity because they will be playing a lot of T20 cricket. Also, all of the wicket keepers. Mm. Big keeper batsmen who are going to be making a contention will be uh, playing the mm. IPL as well and making their own case. So I think mm. it's uh, pretty much. Uh, uh, I think it's quite significant to uh, put Dhoni in the race along with everyone else and treat him in many ways as one among equals. And at the mm. end of this contest, one big uh, keeper batsman mm. will emerge who will uh, be on that plane to Australia. So while he remains in contention. He is in competition now, if you like, Anand, and that's been confirmed by Shastri in this interview he's done with you. That I think he is in uh, uh, he is in uh, competition with one uh, with several other young contenders for the same job. And if he wins that competition, good for him. If he doesn't, then he will walk into the sunset. Well, we've also got Shishir Hadanjari who's joining us on the phone line. Anand, of course, is with us, and Anand do join in. You know, Shishir. What do you make of it? I mean, Ravi Shastri, the head coach, saying or dropping a hint, you have to perform to be a part of the team. Ah, uh, that's that's what usually happens when you know uh, when you're probably towards the end of your career. Uh, as a great player, you get a little bit of allowance to to continue, uh, and uh, that is what Dhoni's uh, existence in uh, in playing the IPL has suggested. That you know, closer to the World Cup, what can happen is if he strikes a purple patch. Then there's no way that uh, one can ignore him because you know it's it's the last in, first out, uh, uh, symbolic of uh, Indian selection that you know the IPL will decide if Dhoni strikes a purple patch. How could you ignore him? Because he comes with uh, a, a reputation, he comes with a brand, he comes with uh, years of uh, performance in that uh, or in that uh, standard of cricket that is the T20. So uh, one cannot ignore him. Uh, the question is whether the selectors would like to just look ahead, or whether they'd like to go in for one particular tournament. And in case Dhoni is in contention and performs in the IPL, let's be very sure he's going to get enough opportunity. He's the captain of a team. He'll make sure that he can bat at a uh, position where he can showcase uh, his form, and that is going to be so critical in terms of his own self-belief that he can still play in the World Cup. Okay, to hold on, we are going to just go on back to that particular interview which he gave to Anand Narasimha a short while back. Let's listen into Ravi Shastri once again. Now let me come to Dhoni. Hmm. What's Dhoni going to do now? Because he said January तक मत पूछना. July के बाद he is not played. Hmm. Has he had a conversation with you? Uh, what what's going to happen? We've we've had a conversation, but that's between me and MS. That's the dressing room, right? You know what I feel is. Which people must respect is he spread non-stop across all formats for a period of time. He's finished Test match cricket. In all probability, he'll finish One Day cricket. And at his age, I think probably the only format he would want to play is T20 cricket. T20. Which means he will have to start playing again, hmm. get into the groove because he's definitely going to play the IPL. Yeah. And see how his body reacts. Now, one thing about Dhoni, I'll tell you. He will never, ever impose himself on the team, hmm. or even himself. If he feels when he comes back that something's not right, hmm. just like he quit Test cricket, or you know, it was like a bolt out of the blue, just came and yeah. said, "I've had enough. 94 Test matches. Riddhim Ansa is ready. Here, take the gloves." Yeah. Okay. He might do just that. But if he has a cracking IPL season, hmm. then. 
All right, that's a huge hint coming in from the coach, Ravi Shastri. Anand is now joining us live from Mumbai. Anand uh, and Gaurav and Shishir, of course, are with us. Anand, just again, we're going to go back to the same point. I mean, the head coach makes it as clear as he can that you have to pull up your socks. You have performance will have to be up to the mark. Well, yes, you have to be up to the mark. But the other aspect is that look at how uh, you know Shaz says that he's had a hard to hard conversation with Dhoni. Mm -hmm. MS has not played since July 2019 and he said January tak mujhe mat puchna and this is January 2020 and that's why we've asked this question of Ravi and he says it will all depend on the IPL and there is a reason why we've got Shishir Hatangri and Gaurav Kalra with us because over the next two years we are going to see two T20 World Cups one to be played in Australia in November and then we come back and we play the T20 World Cup at home so, so there are, there are uh, over the next two years, it's the focus is going to be test cricket and T20 cricket and not one-day cricket. And that is the reason why he's saying that Dhoni has his eye on the World Cup in, 2000 and, uh, in 2020 in Australia. But for that, he's going, to he's going to have to perform in IPL, just like every other cricketer who wants a shot in that team. And that's where he's saying that Dhoni has to come back, pick up the gloves, play, and then see if he's fit enough to play. A, fit. To be formed because there are there is Sanju Samson in the in, in the waiting. There is Rishabh Pant already. There is there there is Riddhiman Saha. There are there are, there are, there, are, there is Ishan Kishan. There are others who want to do the wicket keeping job, and Dhoni has to prove at par not only as captain of Chennai Super Kings but also as keeper and as batsman. Now unless he is able to perform there, it's not going to work. But I asked him the question, and Shishir, here here is where I'd like you to weigh in. I asked Shaz this question. Let's say that Rishabh, Sanju, and the Dhoni all perform similarly. Who would you choose? And he says, obviously, somebody with a wealth of experience will be in contention. So clearly, Shaz would want Dhoni to perform and he would want Dhoni to be in the side, notwithstanding that you have a talent and a match winner in Rishabh Pant. And he said, all of them will bat around number five and six because you need some firepower at the bottom. Yes, Anand, that's, that's what generally happens when you're close in to a, to a World Cup championship, you know, and uh, that uh, if all players in contention for a position are performing, then uh, you tend to go with the one who has been there before, who's seen many a World Cup, who has the experience, who brings, those, brings in those little nuances of uh, advising the captain on strategy and things like that on, on a given crucial day. So these things matter uh, on, on just uh, at, when you're at the cusp of a big event. And that is something that uh, you've answered or Ravi's answered, that uh, if all are performing, uh, it's not a question of tic-tac-toe, round I go. It's about taking Dhoni. Hmm. True. And, and uh, uh, Gaurav, this is also significant because Dhoni is not closed doors. It's not retirement yet for Mahindra Singh Dhoni. That's the other aspect. It all depends on how the IPL 2020 season goes. Yes, and Anand, I think the other important thing that uh, that came out of that clip that you've just played is that uh, Ravi Shash pretty much uh, said that MS Dhoni's one-day career is uh, is over, which means that he's not looking beyond this T20 World Cup yes. and perhaps the one in 2021. I think uh, in many ways, uh, the 2023 World Cup is definitely not on his horizon, let's say. He's also going to be 38 years old, mm. Anand, and there is... Yes such a thing as, uh, you know, a wicketkeeper at that point with, uh, even no matter how fit you are, batting in uh, the top five, it is a challenge. So I think the one-day side of things seems to be um, uh, seems to be over. And I think it's important that uh, to think of it in a way that, uh, that uh, for MS Sony as well, the 2020 IPL will be a, a season of discovery. Is the body up to the rigors of uh, the uh, game? Uh, is is his mind ready for the investments that it requires emotionally? Is he? Uh, does he still feel that he's got the power in the batting style that he's uh, made so popular over the years? And the fact that this World Cup will be in Australia, it will demand uh, you know extreme fitness because you won't see huge scores. There'll be big grounds, so there's a lot of running. Uh, how he. Uh, how he shapes up on all of this. So I think uh, it is a sensible and, uh, approach because uh, when the, uh, when the uh, IPL ends at the end of May, that still is around two or three or four months before the first ball of the World Cup has to be bowled. So it is an, uh, it's a long enough period. It's 14 games at least mm. over a two-month period. It's intense. It's pretty high-level competition. Yes. So the way they are going about this is right. And I think if he gets beaten in this race, 
by someone like a Rishabh Pant or an Ishan Kishan, then that's fair enough because that's the nature of uh, sport. I mean, you know, yeah. players have to move on, and uh, that that I think is so. He's putting himself in contention. It's, uh, I have feeling that uh, this will be a very interesting three three horse, three horse or four horse race. Remember, I'd also like to put. Uh, KL Rahul in contention for the same True. spot because if if Dhawan is doing well at yes. the top of the order, then KL Rahul is he going to keep wickets for uh, Kings Eleven Punjab gets into that role. So all of these hmm. intangibles are in the air. I think they, they've got Ravi Shastri has gone as far as he possibly could. I think Tony is as far as he possibly can go, Anand, because right now he's going to find out whether there's life left in him yes. as an international cricketer or uh, it's over. Well, in one sentence, uh, like you said, Gaurav, Ravi Shastri has given CNN News 18 three headlines. A. Mahindra Singh Dhoni's ODI career is over. B. Mahindra Singh Dhoni will not feature in the 2023 One Day Cricket World Cup. C. Mahindra Singh Dhoni is going to reassess his career post the IPL 2020. And there is another one that, IP, that he still remains in contention for a spot at the World T20 in November. Shishi Ratangri. What what it also implies is that this current team can play without Dhoni. And he also goes on to say that a Rishabh Pant or a Sanju Samson, if they prove their mettle, Dhoni is happy to make way. He will not block their way. And Dhoni is a player who is very real with his assessment and not deliberately going to prolong his career. Well, Anand, the game went on without Bradman. Uh, I dare say it will go on with, without a Dhoni. But the fact of the matter is... Uh, you know, uh, when a World Cup comes, then you forget all the talent that is that you have to choose from. And if, like you rightly said, if if three or four of them are in contention and all are performing, and it 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 it's a photo finish in terms of a selector's choice or a captain's belief or a coach's belief, then you tend generally go to go for the the, the more experienced uh, a season campaigner and. Uh, while we may say his career is over, of course it has to end someday, you know, in one day and test matches. And he's not getting, he's not a spring chicken anymore. So there is a chance that this could be, you know, right. his last waltz in the game of cricket. But the fact is, if he strikes a purple patch, like um, we hope that all will, then uh, I don't think it's hmm. even a question mark as to who will go. Dhoni will go. But he has to feel good about playing the IPL, feel fit enough after the IPL. Hmm. Uh, and right. if his form is good, I don't think there's a question mark there. Well, Shishir Hatangri, Gaurav Kara, thank you very much. Shaz takes the right stand and it's not just about Mahindra Singh Dhoni. It's about the four-day test format. It's about Virat Kohli. It's about who is right between Ravindra, Singh, Ravindra Jadeja and Sanjay Manjrekar. What happened post the World Cup semi-final loss in July 2019? And what does Shaz think about the Citizenship Amendment Act? All that and more. Stay with us here on